Looking all innocent eating grass there. I know your game. Good morning, everybody! Welcome back to A Dairyman's Diary. My name is Frank, I am your humble host, and I am here with you for the next, well, for the rest of my day, really, just to see how we get on here over on Meadow Grove. As you can see this morning, I wasn't quick enough. Uh, I didn't leave the yard quick enough, which means that I am now stuck in the queue to get to the milk. Um, so we are doing what we can. Uh, everything's been fed up. We are good to go, everything's cleaned up. We're going to be doing some mowing today actually, all being well. We've got some silage grass to cut down. Uh, I was supposed to do this with my good friend Eddie, but he missed his ferry. So we couldn't quite get over here in time, so we're going to have to uh, get him over to help us with the lifting of the silage, I do believe. So we will see what we can do. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just waiting for this tanker to get out of my way. And then I can jump on in, we'll uh, empty the... The bows are behind me, and then we can get on our way, which would be good because I got a lot of things that I want to get done. Um, the Valtra is all hooked up to the mower, hence the reason why we're back in the John Deere today. Uh, but it's all ready to go. Behind me, I've got just less than a full tank of milk there. Not by much, but there's just a little bit less. Uh, the cows are enjoying being outside at the moment. Uh, they're really getting making the most of it. Lots of fresh grass around for them, so it's, it's great news. And uh, we are just going to pull up here. Nice to see he's gone. And we'll get ourselves... Oh, I've cut it a bit short. And we'll get ourselves uh, lined up and we'll start pumping out our milk. Excellent. We'll sneak around there and then typically I just reverse it back in, make sure I'm close enough. Lovely stuff. Excellent. So while that's unloaded... We're just going to leave that to do its thing. It is another glorious day here. Nice and early. The sun is due to shine all day, so we've got nothing to uh, be concerned about there, which is fantastic news. And all we need to do, really, is ensure that we can continue to um, get some good grass, good quantity of silage mowing down today. That'd be ideal. Uh, so we that's my phone again. Let me just go in onto that, and we will get ourselves on the way. Hello. It is, yes, it is Frank, yes. They're out where? And have they got down to the road? Oh, good. Okay, right, well, I'll be back in a second. Thanks a lot, bye-bye. Great news, change of plan. This is gonna be fun. Um, I got the glorious phone call that my cows are out. So I need to go and see what's going on there. I have no idea what's happened. Uh, so we are going to finish up here. Just go and get my ticket from the uh, office and we'll get ourselves on our way. Okay, we have receipt in hand and we're good to go. Everything is empty. I am pretty concerned about how many of my cattle have got out of here. So we need to get ourselves on the way pretty quickly here. Um, I'm not sure where they've got out from. All I know is that one of the ladies from the village, um, who I know quite well from years and years and years gone by, has just rung me up to kind of let me know that there's some cows out. So. We'll have to go and see. Uh, so what we'll do, we're going to just scoot back up the road here. And we'll see what we can find. Uh, which way should we go, actually, if the cows are out? Um, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go and see if we can... If they're walking down towards the village, we'll try and stop them before they get too far down, I think. It's never a, never a dull day. I can always say that much. Oh, here was me hoping I'd just be able to get straight back and jump onto the vulture and get some mowing done. But never mind, we'll figure out a way. We will figure out a way. Anyway, as I was saying there, the grass has been growing really well. Uh, good even coverage now for the cattle to go out and enjoy with some uh, good rich grass growing through. Uh, the silage ground has really kicked on in the last week or so since we last spoke. It's really kind of developed, which is fantastic. Okay, and we'll just swing ourselves up the hill. Past the pub. It'd be nice to go and spend an afternoon in the beer garden there. I know that much for sure. One of these days. Okay, oh, I see something over there. They haven't made it this far down, at least. I haven't gone towards the main road just yet, so that's quite a relief. But they look like they are... Ow. 
Oh yeah. Now what has happened to you? Okay, so I'm just gonna put my hazard lights on here at least. Not that this road gets particularly busy, but let's see if we can find out what's going on. It's a bit ridiculous, because they've got all the grass in the world they want at the moment. You see have grown onto the road here. Come on, out the way. Oh, what's happened? Well, it looks like they've just flattened that fence post somehow. That's not ideal at all. Okay. That was in here. Out of the way. Yeah, you can see where the fence post has snapped off. Alright then. Well, we're going to have to go and uh, have a look at that. I need to get rid of the tractor. We'll come back out on the bike, I should think. Get these girls rounded back up. Get them out of the mischief. And uh, let's see if we can get this fixed, shall we? Uh, never a dull moment as a dairy farmer. Never a dull moment. Get that shut again. Lovely stuff. I'm gonna get around this corner a bit tight there now. Oof, it's close. There we go. So, uh, what do I need to do that now to find the. Couple of sledgehammers. We need to find a few spare posts, I think, to try and rein reinforce that uh, fence. Not sure where I'm going to find those from. I'll have to have a look see. Excellent. Well, I'm going to get myself sorted out here, and we will see if we can go and mend the fence and get everyone back inside and see what's going on. So, uh, yeah, join me for some fencing with Frank, I think. And that, everybody, is how you tame some cows. They're all back in. Eventually, um, the one side they didn't take much persuading to go back in. Once I was around them, they kind of I think they almost knew they'd done wrong to be honest. Uh, but we got them back in there, brought some old railings we had down here to kind of improve this fence. They'd actually just snapped um, the fence post that was here clean out, um, so it needed to be replaced anyway. So we came back in there and we just had to had to kind of rummage through it a little bit. So we, we dug out the two fence posts, we brought in a couple more, put the, the, the wire in back up at least, and then I decided to bring in some railings I had here as well, just to give it a little bit of extra support. Managed to push one into the ground there, got a good hold, and then a couple more through here as well. So it's got two layers of protection now, it really shouldn't be going anywhere, but I think that, uh, yeah, well, they found a weak point really. I think that's just about the top and bottom of it. But um, all is good. They're all back in now, uh, which I'm quite happy about. Uh, whilst I'm in here, let's have a quick wander up the fence line, make sure there's no other issues. Uh, as you can see though, uh, the grass is coming on very nicely. Nice and thick over here now. Uh, very good, even cover. These girls have got plenty to eat at. We are probably just going to get jump into the... Uh, jump off into the Valstra anyway and go and start mowing if nothing else but um, yeah it's there's plenty of grass around there for a good first cut of silage and we'll hopefully still be able to get a good second cut off of here as well but everything else is the fences are all looking good along here to be honest if these fences break I'm not too concerned because well they the gates open really and they're wandering between these two anyway so that's not too much of a problem for me but yeah, it's anything that goes onto the road is when we can start to have some serious issues. Uh, as it is, oh look, here's one coming to see what she can get herself into. I fixed it. You can't go out there anymore. Looking all innocent eating grass there. I know your game. So I'm going to have to hurdle through the fence line here. Ah, that's better. And we'll jump into the uh, landy. So these are a couple more fences I had locking around. But we'll take those back up to the yard and then we'll dispose of those somewhere. But we'll jump back into the defender here and we'll we'll get ourselves back up to the yard and see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Oh, can I reverse this without being able to see properly? No. My mirrors aren't very good on this defender, so we'll probably just take it up to the 
let's turn it around in this little uh, concrete pad here. This concrete pad has been here for some time. Uh, there were rumours once upon a time that used to be used for during the war for army practices. They used to store a lot of things on here, uh, a lot of equipment and artillery, etc. Uh, how true that is, I don't actually know. But at the moment, it's not really been used by anybody. But around we go. Excellent. And we'll head back on up to the yard. Perfect. So how are we all doing today? Hope you're all very well. Welcome along. I know there's a few more of you who have joined the family. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, as always, please do let me know down below where you're watching from. I do like to keep a, a strong eye on what's going on and see where we're all kind of tuning in from and where this little family of ours that is growing is kind of based. So it's always pretty cool to know. So we're going to pull into the main yard, and then yeah, the voucher is all hooked up, rigged that up last night, it's all greased up, it's all ready to go. So for now, we'll just pull this to here. Lovely stuff. Stop right there. Excellent. So. We will, uh, I've just got to go and put a few tools away quickly and then we'll get ourselves uh, started up and get some mowing them. Alrighty folks, here we go. Little uh, Bobcat is back here, Skid Steer is looking great. We're still on the search for a few little implements. Got a few phone calls out there, uh, waiting to see what comes back. So hopefully we'll find like a little bucket and maybe a fork for that in the coming days. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, onwards to Verity the Valtra. Time to get her firing up. Uh, open the door. And my how she fires. Okay, so if we just have a look at our we'll have a look at our map here. We have a lot of land to cut. Now the current plan is uh, the fields around the yard here, so 29, 40, 41, 42 uh, are going to be cut down and hauled into the pit. Um the further away we get from the yard, uh, so field 7, 14, 1 and 2 perhaps are likely going to be bailed silage because it's a little bit too far away to haul backwards and forwards. But that's going to wait to see how, how full the pit is after we get uh, the fields around here cut first obviously. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, but yeah, we are going to go and make a start with the, some of the grassland around here at least. Uh, so we've got lots to do. Uh, and it is still nice and early in the morning, so we can get it cut down today. There's a strong chance we can get ourselves upwards and active tomorrow. I need to fold this back up first. We had that open just to service it all a little bit. Uh, I need to pull myself away from this edge. There we go. So we're going to head out of the yard, and we'll take. I think we will tackle. Um, the field straight in front of us, field 41. So this mower here, the tarp, is a little bit old. Doesn't look quite so old, I know, but it's uh... This, I've had this now for about six years and I didn't buy it brand new. So it's got a good few years behind it. What's important though is that it's always kept in good condition. Uh, it's kept under covers and in the winter it's kept under storage so it's always immaculately serviced well trapped looked after so and as I was always told as a young kid oh, we'll just go straight forward here uh, look after your machinery and your machinery will look after yourself so um, that is exactly what we do oh there we go excellent so now what we need to do is lift up the uh, auto swather. Fold it out. And we should be good to go. Awesome, and we're finally cutting grass. There we go. Mowing is one of my most favourite jobs, it really is. As a dairy farmer, it's such a crucial task. Uh, you heavily rely upon the fodder you can create for yourself, be it silage, hay, 
Uh, it's crucially important to sustain your herd throughout the winter months when there's very little grass around. Uh, and it's part of the big process that we do as a dairy farm. Um, so it's always nice to be able to get going and be able to keep ourselves um, operational really on that front. And it's also very soothing. It's a very... Uh, it's very evident where you've been. It's uh, Your progression is very easily identified. So it's quite nice in that respect. I, f I also think there are very fewer sites that are better than seeing a field full of um, sloths of grass waiting to be picked up. It's always very fun. There's a bit of a dip in that corner. But yeah, so we are going to be looking to get the best part of 100 acres covered uh, for immediate first cut silage and then a little bit down at the south there, which will be bales. Um, but we'll get onto that. We're not going to row up the headlands just yet. We're going to take these ones off, let them dry. We'll probably come in and rake those up, I think. Hopefully we can get Eddie over and come give us a hand to get some silage raked up one day. But yeah, we're gonna just probably aim to take in the region of uh, six, seven headlands off here. That should give us enough space to be able to, um, to turn around on the headlands with a forage wagon. That's important. Otherwise, if you spend when these some of these fields are a little bit smaller and fertile, it becomes impossible. Stuff. And that's all coming down very nicely. So do let me know what you're getting up to at the moment. Uh, what, where you're working, what you're working on. There's a lot of farmers out there watching who I always love to hear from. Uh, so I'd love to hear if you've got any uh, silage on the go yourself or, or what you're getting into. Perfect. That's quite a thick swath there. Let's just have a look see how we're doing. Up. We'll have a look, see how the how the tractor's cutting. So as you can see here, we've got some nice thick swaths. Plenty of grass on the ground there, leaving uh, only a couple of inches on the floor. Nice and thick, that's going to be great. And yeah, we've got a nice even cut as well, you can see. There's not much roughage in between the swaths there, so it means that all the blades and the knives are sharpened on the discs. Uh, so we're getting a good, strong, even cut around there. At the back of here, you can see those discs that are going around in a circle. They're a, a conditioner. So what that will do is the as the grass is cut and it's passed through, this beats the grass uh, and allows it to dry a bit better uh, and conditions it for a little bit better um, silage fodder, really. Uh, so that's why we use that. So yeah, everything is working very well. Very pleased with how we're going. So what we're going to do, we're going to push on through here, see how much we can get done. And uh, yeah, we'll come back to you when we're going to be next few days, hopefully bringing some silage into the pit. So with that in mind, I will leave it here. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. It's, as always, it's a pleasure uh, to have you along with me. Um, if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are... What was that? Beard or something. Insect got to hold me. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the family and if you are we will look forward to seeing you around. But until next time, that is it from me, Frank, your humble host. Uh, please do enjoy yourself, whatever you get up to. Have a lovely weekend. It is Friday as I'm recording this so I hope you have a lovely sunny weekend and we will see you in the next one. So until then, stay safe, enjoy what you're doing but most importantly, happy farming!